Hi friends! Welcome to another social emotional learning video from Mile Marks. Today, we will be learning all about stress. In this video, you will learn these three things. First, you'll learn the definition of stress. Second, you'll learn how stress can affect you. And third, we'll go over helpful ways of coping with stress. Ready? Let's get started. So, what exactly is stress? Picture this, you just got done with dinner and your mom is upset with you because you still haven't completed all of your chores. After you get them all done, you'll still need to study for the big science quiz that you have tomorrow. Your dog keeps barking at you because she wants to go outside. Your best friend has been calling you all day and is waiting for you to call her back. Your little brother keeps bugging you because you promised him that you play a video game with him after dinner. And you just remember that you have a three page paper that you have to write about the ancient pyramids that will be due first thing tomorrow morning. <sighs> You have so much going on, and you're not sure if you'll be able to handle it all. You are feeling stressed out. Stress is something you feel when you either have a lot of things going on at once, an important decision to make, an unexpected change in your life, a big event coming up, or when something really dangerous or terrifying happens to you. Stress is something that everyone experiences. Feeling some amount of stress is normal. And get this, not all stress is bad. Sometimes a little stress can even be helpful. It can keep you motivated towards accomplishing a goal and can also make you alert so that you can avoid dangerous situations. When your level of stress gets to be too much, that's when it can turn into a problem. Stress can be caused by many things and these stressors can be different for everyone. Some common stressors for kids and teens include problems in a relationship or friendship, grades, watching the news, bullying, moving to a new house, getting a new brother or sister, not being very popular, parents arguing, and much more. What are some things that stress you out? It's important to know your stressors so that you can come up with helpful ways of coping when they occur. So how do you know that you are feeling stressed? Stress affects us all differently. It changes our body, mind, feelings, and behaviors. When you're stressed, you might experience body symptoms such as headaches, a pounding heartbeat, sweating, trouble breathing, feeling shaky, nauseous, having tense muscles, or feeling really low energy. If these changes go on for too long, they can start to harm your body and make you feel sick. Stress can make you become more forgetful and disorganized, and it can make it harder for you to concentrate on the things you need to get done. You can start to have anxious, racing thoughts, and your mind will be focused only on the negatives about your situation. You might feel discouraged and may think about just giving up. Other feelings that come along with stress include sadness, anger, helplessness, or anxiety. Stress can change your mood and make you more irritable toward others. Your behavior usually changes as well when you are going through something very stressful. The amount of food you eat and the amount of sleep you get each night might go way up or way down. You might procrastinate and try to put off doing your work. You may also start avoiding your friends and family members. Some people even start doing dangerous behaviors when they get stressed out. So, what are some helpful ways of coping with stress? Here are five things you can do to start managing stress today. Number one, focus on the things that you can control. Sometimes, you don't have much control over the things that happen in your life. There are things that just have to happen, and you'll need to figure out the best way to deal with it. You can do this by focusing on the things you can control in each stressful situation. For example, let's say you have a huge test coming up. There's not much you can do to stop the test from happening, but you can do something to help yourself feel better prepared and less stressed out. You can study, ask the teacher questions, or find someone willing to tutor you. Worrying about the things that you can't control won't change anything, but doing something about the things you can control will. Number two, manage your time. Sometimes you might just have a lot going on with your schedule. You might be busy with school, sports, clubs, friends, or other activities during the week. 
If you start feeling stressed out, see if there's a way to lighten your load by cutting out the things that make you feel overwhelmed. Try not to take on too many stressful things at once and make sure to schedule time to be able to just kick back and relax. You also want to make time for the things, activities, and people that you enjoy. Number three, take care of your body. Stress can be really bad for your health, so it's a good idea to practice making smart decisions for your body. Be sure to get enough sleep each night and eat healthy foods for each meal. Exercising or being active is another great way to cope with stress. It's not just good for your body, but it can also help to improve your mood. Number four, use positive self-talk. Challenge the negative, racing thoughts in your head by using positive self-talk to encourage yourself. The next time you're feeling stressed out, tell yourself things such as, I know I can do it. I'm strong enough to deal with this situation. Or, I know how to handle this. I've been here before. Saying these things to yourself will make you feel more confident about dealing with the stressful situation. Number five, Talk to a friend or adult. It can be easy to just shut down and push people away when you are feeling stressed out. This is not helpful. Reach out to the people who care about you. They'll be willing to help you find ways to start feeling better. If the stress gets to be too much, ask your parents or guardians if you are able to speak with someone, like a counselor, that would be able to help you find healthier ways of coping with stress. There you have it. Now you know all about stress. I hope you learned a lot and you found this information helpful. If you did, make sure to subscribe and like this video to let us know. Look below in the description for more stress management resources for kids and teens. Be sure to also check out our other videos and visit our website at www.milemarks.com for more helpful social-emotional content. Have a great day, friends!